everyone, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com and today's topic is portals. And the question is, hello Lynn, we hear a lot about portals and their ability to transport us between time and space, but how were they created? Were they deliberately created by people that we don't know about or were they naturally created by nature eons ago? Is it possible to create them artificially? So. When I tuned into this, I got that portals have been created since um, our, our star system was created. They've been around since pretty much the beginning of time. And I hear everything is founded upon sacred geometry and the ley lines and portals are no different. So it's almost as if you have this foundation of sacred geometry and everything else is built upon it. And so I saw that portals were also dependent upon sacred geometry and I'll explain that a little more as I keep going because as I tuned into this I saw that portals were strategically above intersecting ley lines and they're located all over earth and I pulled up a pretty cool picture and put it on the blog of just how the ley lines run all over earth and where they intersect that's most times where you're going to find a portal or some kind of vortex uh, it's no coincidence that they align with the ley lines as energy of both work in harmony and they can many times be felt by sensitive people and even animals when you're in close proximity. So if you're somewhere where ley lines intersect and most likely a portal is nearby, you, you can actually feel that. You can feel when it's active. You can feel when something's going on. Um, it could be a good feeling. It could be even a strange feeling but nonetheless people can sense it out or maybe they have a mood change or something going on i also got that pyramids in egypt were built on ley lines and the egyptians used these energy grid lines to amplify the plow power of the pyramid uh, they didn't they had another purpose for their location too because they were put there because beings would travel through the portals and the egyptians wanted to interact with these beings. They wanted their presence. They wanted to have them visit. So, you know, you put your pyramid on a ley line, which is amplifies the effect of the, the pyramid anyway, but in conjunction with that, this intersection is near a portal from above where the beings and ETs from beyond could come and easily interact because once they basically jump through the portal, uh, the Egyptians are right beneath them. I also got that artificial pyramids can be created, but they're not stable or safe. And I get that CERN has been close to opening one up, but they haven't succeeded. And some kind of intervention is preventing it. It's like there's some universal block to them being able to succeed. Natural portals have a checks and balances and keeping the energy in balance. Uh, they hold energy much like a life force. It's almost like it was living when I was tuning into it. They had their own unique special energy. I also got that meditating and healing can be amplified near ley lines, portals, and even more so at vortexes where more than two ley lines intersect. Like an, a ley line can intersect, but if you have multiple ones connecting at one pivotal point, it is just amazing the amount of energy that's created at that intersecting point. So if you're into experimenting or meditating or trying to work on healing, uh, you might seek one of these locations out and experiment and explore that for yourself. And that was all I have for this reading. It was pretty interesting. Uh, feel free to leave a comment, like me, share me. All those things help me out. And again, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Thank you. Bye.